Hello, in this video I'm going to be reviewing these Monument 15mm olive cutters. Now whether you're a plumber, heating engineer or a DIYer who's going to be taking off a lot of olives, if you haven't got a pair of these then you should really consider getting some because they make the job so much easier for removing olives. Now I spent the first 10 years of my heating career taking olives off by using a pair of pliers or a junior hacksaw and uh, that's the way you want to do it if you're a DIYer but when you're professional and you want to be speedy you want a pair of these and I'll show you exactly how they work in just a sec. Now these cutters do only cut off 50 mil olives so if you want to remove 22 mil olives you need a pair of cutters for doing that also and they're not cheap this pair comes out around about 27 pounds and if you want to get yourself a pair I've left links in the description below which will take you straight to Amazon where you can get yourself a pair. Now Monument also makes this tool here which will take off 15 and 22 mil olives and it is a lot cheaper at only 24 pounds and I would recommend having both these tools and if you want to find out why and you want to see the review on this then you can click on the link below or above now to see that video. At the end of the video I'll sum up my thoughts of this olive cutting tool. Before I go to the workbench let's just quickly whiz through my intro and then I'll show exactly how well these things work and why you should think about getting yourself a pair if you haven't got some. My name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you find this video useful at all then please give me a little bit of feedback by clicking on the thumbs up and that will also help others to find the video. You can click on subscribe if you think the video is useful and click on the bell if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video and of course share the video with your friends. I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who buys me a cup of coffee and leaves a small donation in my toolbox fund. It is really appreciated and it does really help me to make more videos which will hopefully help you. And don't forget to visit my website where I've categorized all my videos and left links to all the products and parts that I recommend. Right now let's get on with this video. So here I am on my workbench and here's our old radiator valve and we want to remove that nut there and to do that we need to remove this olive here. Now this is where the olive cutting tool comes in. It's nice and simple all we do is just put it over the top, squeeze the handles, you do have to squeeze quite hard and then when you squeeze it, that olive will just get cut through. And there we go that's that now cut and I can give it a wiggle and pull the olive off and there it is you can see it's cut both sides of the olive and now the olive is in two pieces and there we go there's the two halves of the olive that's got to be one of the easiest ways to remove an olive and then of course you can just remove the nut and then let's take a look at the pipe and you can see the pipe there and it's not too badly crushed by that particular olive that was a radiator valve I cut off a radiator in one of my customers houses now you may not know but there's quite a bit of difference between olives if you're a DIYer you get brass olives like this and you can get copper olives like this and they're quite a bit different in size and they're a lot different in strength I just show you that these cutters are as wide as a big brass olive now here's a standard 15 mil compression coupling with some copper olives I'm going to fit this onto a pipe, do this compression fit and that really, really tight, as tight as I can possibly get it. And that's about there. Now I'm just going to remove the compression fitting so we can take a look at the olive and see how badly it is crushed. You're going to have to either cut it off with a junior hacksaw or use a tool to remove it. And you can see there that olive is really crushed into that pipe and the pipe is distorted and bent where I've done it up so tight. So let's just see how easily it comes off with using the tool. Now just imagine that you've got a system, it's full of water, you want to change that radiator valve really quickly. You can just get the tool, clip like that, and there we are, job done. The olive is now cut through and we can just slip that off. And of course when you're on the job you can then quickly just take off the old nut, put the new nut on, and then put the new olive on. Now I just thought I'd just show you the pipe there, it has left a little mark on the pipe. But just imagine if you use a junior hacksaw you would probably also leave a little mark on the pipe and then you just need to get a little file file that off and you can see there how the pipe has really crushed in when i did that olive up really really tight now let's just cut the top of this bit of pipe off that's already crushed oh and if you want to know a little bit more about these NURAD cutters then i made a separate video all about that you can click on the link above now to watch that video or you'll find it in the description below as these cutters were brand new I put some oil on these just to make sure that they're fully lubricated because in my toolbox everything gets wet so I just put a nice splodge of oil all over that so I recommend doing that and of course it'll keep them nicely lubricated and extend the life and of course stop them from going rusty and seizing up. I just show you one more of these copper olives how easily it cuts through I barely have to squeeze the handle at all and it cuts straight through the olive nice and easy. 
So I would really recommend having a pair of these if you're going to be removing a lot of olives because it makes the job so easy. A quick point when you cut through the olives and they go into be careful you don't drop half of the olive straight down the pipe like that. Fits in there perfectly. You don't want to be dropping bits of olive down inside the pipe. I thought I'd just quickly let you know I've made a video on 10 things that you can do to reduce your gas bills. And you'll find that video in the links above now or down in the description. I wanted to just show you how this olive here, this is a brass olive. And you can see how it's actually machined on the inside. I'm not sure why they've made it like that. Maybe it just makes a better seal. So that's a more expensive olive. So let's just see how that does. So I've got my compression fit in here again. So I'll just pop on the nut, pop on the olive and put on the compression fitting. Now I must say that this olive is a lot bigger than the standard copper olive. It's a lot longer. So when I do this nut up here, it's actually right on the end of the threads. And as I do it up, as you'll see, the threads actually break and actually shear the bottom of the nut off. So just be aware of that if you're using different olives. Just be careful because you may be only using a couple of threads. And I'm going to do this one that really tight again and I'll show you what happens. And then finally the fitting just breaks because it's not fully screwed on. There was, it just snapped just then. So there you go. You can see it's sheared the bottom of the compression fitting off. And now I've got part of it still stuck in the thread. So it's not easily going to come out of there. With a little messing around, I managed to get it apart. Now the thing about the brass olive is they are really strong and much, much harder. So when I come to actually try and cut through it, you can't cut through it. Or maybe you can if you've got super strong hands, uh, but I can't cut through them. So what I do is I use the cutters and I cut into the olive as much as I can. So I score the olive and then I remove the cutters and then put them back on a lot lower down the olive, maybe any quarter of the way or maybe a little bit less and then cut it again. And what I find then is the cutter will cut through that quarter of the olive and then the rest of the olive will just break because it is brass and brass is very brittle. And there we go. That's now just cut through. Now when I take this off, you can see that it has only cut through half the olive, but that doesn't matter as long as the olive comes off the pipe. And there you are, see that's nicely cut through. So just to sum up on this Monument olive cutting tool, they're a really great little tool. I carry them in my toolbox all the time. And then what's good about them is you can get them into those little tiny spaces where you can't get another tool. So you can get them in there, cut that olive off and then remove that nut and replace the new nut on the olive. The only downside is, is sometimes they leave a little scratch on the pipe. And of course, then you'll have to get it file and clean that off. But if you had to get that olive off anyway, you might have to use your junior hacksaw and end up scratching the pipe anyway. So that's not too much of a thing. But another thing is they aren't cheap at £27 and they do only cut off 15 mil olives so if you wanted to cut off 22 you would also need the other cutter as well okay so that just about rounds it up then if you want to know about this little tool here then of course you can click on my next video just there you can click on subscribe click on the bell give me a thumbs up and it's always my toolbox friends bye for now and i'll see you next time